Hey there guys! So, welcome back to the channel. So, a big question is how to stain your piece, how to prepare your piece for stain. And there is no real fixed way of that procedure. But I'm going to show you how I do mine, how I stain my piece, how I uh, prepare it for staining. Yeah. And there are numerous videos on how to do this and I'm going to add to that by showing you how I stain my wood. So, uh, what else? Lang, let's go. Ang oily ko. So how I uh, 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 prepare my piece for stain is I I sand it, I sand it. So to prepare your piece for staining, first you need to sand it. Uh, I start with 100 grit. I start with 100 grit to take off most material, to take off the rough, rough feel, rough material. And then I end with 180. So that's uh, 80 grit, 150 grit, and then 180 grit. I end with 180. And an important note to take is to stop at 180 because um, anything higher than 180 grit, your stain won't adhere to the wood. There will be no rough enough surface for the stain to stick to the wood. So, yep, 180. If you go past 180, when you apply your finish, your stain will smudge right out. Sasama ang stain yun. So yeah, let's get to sanding. Okay, so we've finished uh, sanding with the 80 and 120 grit. So, before I continue, quick story. So, uh, while sanding with the 120 grit, one, uh, the 80 grit, uh, I noticed a very big cupping on the panel. So, uh, I cut it against the table saw and then glued it again. And here we are. And so now, I don't know the footage because it's so stress. Anyway, so uh, here we are going to sand with 180 grit so the key note here key point whatever uh, is to not go over 180 grit because wala nang pagkakapitan ang stain or yung uh, yeah the stain so with our lotus uh, random orbital sander we're going to sand this at 180 grit final sanding and then stain so here we go First, safety first. That's the point of stopping at 180. Any further, like 200 to 40, any higher than 200, your stain won't adhere to your surface. So, yep, let's get the staining. Where's my stain? So to apply our stain, I use a, I'm using a used drag. What else? And then makikita natin results uh, upon applying the top coat if our stain will adhere to the wood. So this is Koenig, uh, Koenig uh, Brown Mahogany. Yep. So 
So we've sanded our tabletop 80, 150, uh, 80, 120, and then 180, no more. And then we've stained our tabletop and let cure for a day. And then now we're going to top coat it with uh, polyurethane. So this is where we will know if our stain adhered to our wood, hopefully. So yeah, yeah hopefully. So here I've finished with my first coat. As you can see, no smudges, no stain went off upon applying polyurethane with a sponge. What else? Yep, so sanding not going above 180 works. Yes, yes, yes. So let me just finish uh, the whole top coat process. I'm going to do two more coats and then I'll, I'll video the final product. Let's go. Our first coat has cured and is dry to the touch. It's not sticky or whatever. Before we apply our second coat, we will sand it, hand sand it with 400, wait focus, 400 grit. Yep, 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 400 grit. And then apply our second coat and then 400 grit again. And finally, after our third coat, I will finish sand it with a thousand grit so that it will be so smooth. So smooth. Yep, 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 yep. So let's get to sanding now. So now this is the third and final coat and as usual I will be sanding with 400 grit before I apply the top coat. So the 400 grit will help uh, smoothen out the surface so it will become oh so smooth enough so that uh, smooth din ang pag apply, smooth din ang pag apply ng top coat. So important na mag sand between coats. And then I will finish with a thousand grit after the final coat to make it super smooth. So let's go. So now for our final step, 
after letting the third coat of polyurethane dry, we are going to finish everything up by sanding it down with a thousand grit sandpaper. So this is just to really smoothen things out, smooth to the touch, no, no grit, whatever. Yep, so, and it won't take much material. It won't take any material at all, actually. So here it is, this is the final product. Thank you guys for joining me on how to prepare, stain, and finish my uh, piece, my piece right here. So as you can see, it's, it's a satin finish, so it's not glossy, and it's smooth to the touch. No blotchiness, no stain removed during applying top coat. So thank you guys again, like the video if you like what you're seeing, subscribe if you want to see more, those help support the channel and me, a bunch of motivation for me to make more videos, yep yep yep, so bye!